iPilot Link basically takes your Minn Kota trolling motor. I've run in the Minn Kota Ultera on this boat, uh, but it takes any Minn Kota trolling motor that runs iPilot Link and allows you to interface the trolling motor with the fish finder. So that's the most simplest explanation of it. Basically, you have a network cable that runs from the trolling motor to the fish finder. I'm going to show you real quick now the more important part of what iPilot Link does and why you might want to have it and how you can use it to catch more fish. So because I'm running this iPilot Link trolling motor and I've got the trolling motor networked with the fish finder, I can go in here on my Solix and touch the menu bar, go in here and I'm going to deploy my Altera from the screen. You see there my trolling motor's dropping down in the water. So I have the ability to operate all of the trolling motor controls here from my screen. So if I'm suspend drifting for catfish or catching bait, uh, I can spot lock, I can run my course. Anything that you can do with the remote, you can do from the menu here on the screen. Uh, so it gives you some redundancy for the trolling motor remote and if you're fishing for catfish like I do most often, you're spending a lot of time sitting in the captain's seat, I can just reach up here and control everything that I need to control right here from the fish finder. Now, one of the other features, and this is really the feature that I use most often, it's not just a fancy remote control, uh, is there's a few ways you can use this to fish. So I spot locked there. I'm gonna turn my trolling motor off to release that spot lock. So let's say uh, I'm gonna drift for catfish or pull planer boards or something. Doesn't matter what species of fish you're gonna fish for. And let's say I drove uh, right through here and I marked fish uh, all up and down through here. So what I'm gonna do is just go in here and move my cursor here because I wanna drag baits right through there. And I've just hit the little toggle and what this is going to do, once I turn my trolling motor on, give it some speed here, is it's going to get me turned and it's going to put me on this path right here and it's going to take me down until I hit that point. So if I'm running planer boards off the back of the boat or just dragging baits, uh, I can go in here, I turn it on cruise control, I set my speed to 0 0.5, 0 0.6 miles an hour, and this is going to do all of the work for me. It's going to keep me and take me right to those points. And I can extend this, so if I want to add to this and extend that trail out, going down a ledge or a river channel or something like that, I can continue to extend that path and allow the trolling motor to do all of the work so I don't have to worry about boat control and I can worry about catching fish. Now another great feature is the follow the contour feature and this is something that I use all the time for fishing for catfish, fishing for white bass, uh, really applies to any species of fish. Now you need to be running the Lake Master mapping card or uh, have auto chart maps on here for this to work, but it's the follow the contour feature. So I'm just going to go in, put my cursor over this contour line. I'm going to go in here to chart, go to, follow the contour, and you can see here I've got yellow and purple on the screen, and it's highlighted these contours in yellow and purple. So I'm going to select the yellow one. I want to go the other way because I don't want to go down these boat docks. And I'm going to turn my trolling motor on and the trolling motor is going to automatically take me to that contour line that I selected and it's going to take me right down that contour line and it's going to do all the work for me. So right now I'm going 1.7 miles an hour so let's say I'm I'm fishing here uh, I'm going to turn this down turn my cruise control on I'm going to set that at about 0.4 miles an hour and between auto chart live and then the cruise control on the trolling motor it's going to take me right down that contour line 
and it's going to do all of the boat control work for me so I can focus on catching fish. So if I'm dragging baits off the back of the boat, I can drag them right down that contour line, down those edges and ledges. If I'm a bass fisherman and I'm targeting bass up on this shoreline, I can let the boat do all the work for me and I can focus on casting. It really does all of the total boat control. One of the other great features of iPilot Link, it really makes this process much simpler uh, of just pinpoint precision of targeting fish. Doesn't matter if you're using side imaging, down imaging, or 2D. Uh, you can go and use this feature on any of those screens. Uh, if you're driving along, you're scanning for fish. Uh, let's say uh, you mark a, a big school of fish or um, you mark some structure that you want to fish or a ball of bait. We'll just use this right here as an example. There's some fish right here on my screen. Let's say I want to get right in here in the middle of them and I want to suspend fish. So I can go in, select exactly where I want to go, and then just hit right here, go to. I can go in, deploy my trolling motor, um, and it'll take me right on top of that waypoint. I can control everything right here from the screen. Now you can obviously, if you don't have link, you can drop a waypoint, uh, you can deploy your trolling motor, you can pull this all up on your screen and uh, navigate to that waypoint. But having that ability to do everything right here with just a few clicks really, really simplifies that process. And this same thing applies to uh, 2D and down imaging uh, as well, just like with side imaging. Uh, if I'm driving along, scanning for fish, let's say I mark some fish down here and uh, I wanna pull up and target this right here, just click on my screen and I can go in and go to, and it will navigate directly to that waypoint that I've set on the screen and I can do everything right here from the fish finder with just a few clicks without ever touching the remote control. Those are some of the major features of iPilot Link. Now there's other things in addition to this that it'll do, but those are some of the big ones and the features that I use most often. Those questions that you guys have been sending me about really what is iPilot Link? How do you use it? Do I need it? Do I not need it? This should give you a much better idea whether iPilot Link is something that you want on your boat. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, go down below, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've got iPilot Link on your boat, I wanna know how you use it, what your favorite feature is and, and how you use it most often.